I wonder if the, the <laughs> scorpion's gonna take him out. Hey oh. Okay, he has he also has a vault suit. I'm pretty sure. That's like a unique outfit. And I think this is the time that you're able to get it. Maybe if he gets knocked unconscious. Or, there might be some other way though, like to to like pickpocket it off of him once he goes unconscious and then gets back up or something. Yeah, that's right. You and me, Dad. Working together. <laughs> Killing monsters. I think this is the one time that I'm not going to uh, wait until daytime. Because if I, I think if I do that, he'll just go on without. I think that's kind of how it works. Unless, um, unless I, I'm wrong there. May, let's, let's try. Let's see. If he, if he will actually come to a complete stop. Yeah. Oh, he's still here. Cool. <laughs> yes. Nice waiting here with you for 10 hours, father. <laughs> On our way once again. So how we, I, I just had a like texture pop in thing too. So I think the majority of the way that we're doing it is we are just following the road, I believe. No, we, we might be going past Tenpenny Tower actually. If I remember correctly, it might be something along the lines of this and then this. And then, like, we might even swim to the Jefferson Memorial. I don't remember how it goes after that point. But, oh, yes. We're on our way to take the notes of Gek technology, Garden of Eden creation kit technology, back to convince Dr. Lee to drop everything she's doing again. I, I know I, I rag on Dr. Lee a lot, and I'm only going to give her a tiny bit of credit that she has been asked to uproot what she's doing That's or drop what she's be. doing suddenly multiple times. <laughs> and due to her having a crush on James, yes, her, the lady of logic and reason, who often doesn't make sense, has a crush on James, and it takes him just fluttering his eyes a little bit to convince her to join in his endeavors every single time. Well, we did a pretty good job there, Dad. Well done. I wouldn't have tried that by myself. You're a pretty good tank. Hey, can you, like, get out of there? <laughs> Are you stuck? I think he'll eventually dislodge, I hope. Hello? Well, I could punch him out. There we go. I've saved you. <laughs> what a great start to the mission. Oh, oh no. Oh no, he's stuck again. Oh, man. Well, I don't know what, what we're going to do here now. Maybe I could... I mean, I don't like doing this, but maybe I could turn on no clip for him. Then he might just fall through the ground, though. Maybe I'll try. Okay. Dad? Collision's on. Okay. Are we good? We're good now. <laughs> What an ordeal. I hope this doesn't become a thing that happens so regularly while we're on our way. Because, man, this has been a quite an exciting time already. So we're going to be walking by Robco and Tenpenny Tower. I think, I think while I'm in proximity, he will actually stop for me. But as soon as I'm out of a certain range, then he starts kind of wandering off to Rivet City on his own. I think that's how it works, because if you just go to Rivet City to meet him there, he'll eventually show up if you just wait a bunch. So maybe it's something like that. There's a bloat fly here, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my good. I one shot at it. I can do it, everyone. I can one shot bloat flies now. That's what I was excited to do. Oh, yes. Ooh, that, that close-up shot, though. 
Man, it sure is bright out here in the wasteland. Maybe it's just Vats doing it. it. Doing some... Nope, nope. It is actually that bright out here. Okay. Um, there is a Yao Guai out there, too. I don't really have a sniping weapon. I don't... Oh, of course I do. What am I saying? What am I saying right now? So the... The bullet spread is actually not that bad. Didn't want to have to do this. Help me out, James! You got this! <laughs> this makes how many Yao Guais I've fought over this amount of time? You take the front tank with that tire iron, Dad. You got this. Precise, like a doctor should be. <laughs> I knew there was going to be several encounters as we're going through this area. Because there's just a lot of stuff around here. That power station, for example, I think that spawns a Yaguai, too. Um, but I... I... This is the Robco facility where Moira wanted me to go for, like, the final... The final part of the last chapter, I think. So, that's cool. We'll have it marked, at least. Yes, yes. Then we'll also... The, the constantly fading, phasing in and out Tenpenny Tower. We'll be back for that later. Okay, well, since Dad stopped for me really quick, I'm going to speak to him again. And let's talk about how Mom really died. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Okay, so that's just that's just talking about the oh, we should go back to the vault. It's it's perfect and everything's great. Um so tell me what happened cuz we have an idea of what Project Purity is based on, you know, looking into the actual site already. Um it's a water purification project. So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. What became Rivet City? But... I'm only 19 years old, but... Rivet City has been around for a while, I think. Quite a bit longer than, you know, because we did the whole history thing. So, I'm guessing he's in the camp that Rivet City was nothing until the science department arrived. Something along those lines. Okay, um, what's the big deal with water? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Okay, all right. I'm on board. Let's go. Be careful, my son. You too, Dad, even though I know that's not true. <laughs> you attack things with a tire iron all the time, even unprovoked. What's my status at? I am very evil. I am a very evil vault boogeyman. That makes sense. I did some pretty evil things in Dr. Braun's experiment. So I feel like I'm going to have to gather up some purified water and see what I can do about raising, <laughs> raising that karma a tiny, tiny bit before I get, quote unquote, the talk from dad. 
So we might take a side trip after we make it back to Rivet City and convince Dr. Lee to drop everything she's doing uh, and assist my dad. But it's going to be all on my dad to do that. I'm, I'm not very good at flirting, let alone flirting with someone I hate. That's the way it has to be. So I think James has got this on lock. He's dealt with Dr. Lee before, calling her Madison. Doing that little little sway thing he does when he walks. I know how the man works. I just can't do it myself. I just can't replicate it. So it's up to James. Is there really another Yao Guai? <laughs> it didn't even wait until we were done beating up that robot. First, first that crazy simulation. Then this, this has the entire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Things are getting crazy because <laughs> there's raiders now. There's somebody with a bomb collar on. I'm just gonna walk away. Yep. Yep. I'm just gonna go back here and hide and let dad do all the work. <laughs> and they're fighting a rad scorpion. I think they blew up their own dude. Did I get him? I shot their rocket launcher. That helps me. Well, they're they're gonna have a gun that's not as effective against against me, right? I hope. Leave me alone. Gosh, there's so much happening. How you doing, on the Yaguai dad? Pretty good. I'm gonna come help you again. And hopefully not get shot at the same time. My goodness. Everything, everything is going wrong in the wasteland. As soon as dad steps out, this is the kind of greeting he receives. We're just trying to get to Project Purity, man. Gotta tell you though, if we had fast traveled to Rivet City, none of these interesting things would have happened. My dad wouldn't have been you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place, which happened to be another rock. Uh, we wouldn't have fought more Yaogwai, probably about as many as I fought getting to Smith Casey's garage. We wouldn't have just seen a self-destructing Wastelander fight a Yaogwai, who some raiders were also deciding to fight. Just a lot of things happening, all at once. This raider is going for a gun. Now. Not allowed. I just kicked her in the shin. No shin is safe around Kato. <laughs> hey up! No, oh, she's not dead yet. Come back here. Come back here, you. My pit boy light was on. I just realized maybe that's why they were detecting me. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, you know what? I am going to pick up that missile launcher because I don't think. This situation has been interesting enough. Let's make it more crazy. And oh, it's not repaired though. It's because I shot it. Darn. Well, maybe if we come across another missile launcher because we do have the carry capacity to do so. Um, I'll be able to <laughs> repair it and use that against any foes we come across now. My word. I like how Dad picked up an assault rifle off of one of the one of the raiders. He was like, "This tire iron's not doing the trick." Assault rifle time. So I could, in theory, drop something really good on the ground. Like I think, I think one of the times, um, I think James is supposed to have a revolver on him too, at some point. Maybe he maybe he picked that up from my memory as well. So like everything is kind of screwy, and he always has a tire iron instead. Um. Wait, no, he's supposed to... You want it. Is he supposed to have a gun? Oh, jeez, all right. Nope, he's getting the tire iron back out. He ran out of ammo already. My goodness. My goodness, James. What is the deal? Yeah, so now I think we've officially fought more Yao Guai on the way to Rivet City than on the way to find James. Because this is ridiculous. 
This is insane. It's the year of the Yaogwai. That's what it is. It's nice picking up all that Yaogwai meat, though. I will use it, eventually. <laughs> Are we done with the Yaogwai? This is also Yaogwai country, I think. Like, the, the, the Yaogwai den, I think? No. No, no, no. It's... What is it? There's like a, a raider. I think it is called the Yaogwai Den. It like starts as a raider outpost, but then turns into the Yaogwai Caves. Am I remembering properly? I won't let it end like or maybe this. it's called something else. Oh, good. Good. A proper giant rad scorpion, too. Okay. Um, what if I just blow you both up? Can I just do that? I just do that. Sneak attack critical on dad. Sorry, dad. Collateral damage happens. It bounced off the tree that time. This is not very effective. It's not, not as effective as I want it to be. But man, dad sure is tanky. His only weakness? High doses of radiation. For the rest of the time, he is built to take so much punishment. I wonder where he developed that from. Maybe he started making up some some secret serums in Vault 101 that nobody knew about. And then he took them, and now he's some sort of hybrid human. With flesh like diamonds. <laughs> oh no, Dad's unconscious. Is this gonna hurt? If it attacks me? Is this gonna hurt though? Yes. I didn't want to have to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're dead. Ooh, my goodness. Getting a lot of XP also. I'd rather have the XP slow down. We don't have to stop and fight everything, you know. <laughs> That's like the downside to this, isn't it? Dad, me, me paying attention to what Dad's doing, which is stopping to fight everything. But that's okay. How close are we? What's the odometer say? We're about, I uh, want to say a third of the way. Yeah, this is this is turning out to be quite the road trip for sure. That's the way you want it. Uh, you see, you could sneak. <laughs> Instead of waste all the durability of my power fist. And then what am I going to attack with? Huh, Dad? Tell me that. Because I'm sure as heck not going to waste ammo just because you deem it necessary. Maybe I'll just use my fists. Once this is out. Yep. I'm just going to use my fists. Whatever. These don't have durability. Maybe my strength will go up. Like in Kenshi. I know this. I've talked about that game one time already. But I'm talking about it again because Kenshi is so freaking good. It's such an amazing game. A post-apocalyptic game. That is. Where you build up your strength in unarmed and toughness by punching things. And it's great. I'm just martial arts in that game, though. Um, and different levels determine, like, what abilities you get. I think the final one's like a jumping punch thing. It's pretty cool. But I think this is doing the trick. Right? How you holding up, Dad? Yep. You're not, not looking great. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe we've got this. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay, let's do a Vats Punch just to see if we can get through that carapace, and we did. Oh my word. Oh my jeez. Okay, something I failed to do when we went by Tenpenny Tower and something I wanted to do was get the Lucky Shades. I did want to get the Lucky Shades, and I failed to go do that. So gosh darn it. Um, something I also am That's contemplating doing because, well... This guy is just happy to encounter everything. Um, something that I'm considering doing is getting a dart gun. Because that is an incredibly overpowered weapon. Why are you shooting? Oh, you aren't shooting at me. You just look like you were shooting at me. I'm going to chuck this at you and hope that it lands. Yes, it's actually doing damage. I'll throw another one. Just, just, nope. Oh, it fell too far. 
Okay. Well, I have 70 ish shots with this. So maybe, maybe we can take out. The combat inhibitor make is a, is it a weak point? What spot will take the most damage? The body armor? No. The eyes? No. What do I even shoot on this guy? The arms, I guess. Well, that did it. I'd rather have some microfusion cells than energy cells, though. Because the reason that uh, part of the re I guess part of the reason I am rushing the uh, the main quest is so we have more readily available resources for keeping well this weapon repaired for one, but also keeping it supplied with microfusion cells. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to keep going back to people like Flack and Shrapnel, Moira Brown, getting some gosh dang uh, overpriced microfusion cells instead of just picking them up. If that's the way it has to be. Oh well, hey, something easier. Thank goodness. I still would, well, ah, hello dog, well this is not going very well at all, <laughs> what else can I use here, um, I picked up a laser rifle, it uses microfusion cells though, um, the repellent stick, does that do more damage than my fists, oh my goodness, what do I use even, I really don't want to continue using, uh, I'm gonna have to. I kind of just... I think I painted myself into the corner a little bit. With the weapons I'm able to use. Especially when one of them just breaks. That's alright. I'll see about getting those crits on the dogs. With that Vats crit chance. What did I hit even? There's another dog behind me. Take that, doggo. Jeez, there's so many dogs. Okay, Dad, stay right there. We've got this. Yep. There we go. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you alright, Dad? Yeah, you're alright. You're fine. Everything is good. Everything is gravy. Alright. We're starting to see the city limits. Here we go. It, what is what is this section of DC called? Like this township. Is it just the Arlington area? Is that what that is? I don't know. I've I've never been to DC myself. Um been close there as in a state or two away in Vermont, but never yeah. Never in <clears throat> the DC reaches. Oh, hey, it's Andale. What if we just popped in for a snack? Oh, dude, I forgot about that. I'm a cannibal, huh? <laughs> it's all coming back to me. My bad roll in the level up turned me into a monster. But that's okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Liam, father, papa. Are we there? <laughs> Faja. Hey, you're awfully close to that highly explosive vehicle. What if I just... What if I just made that happen real quick? Man, he took that like a champ. You're not walking like it did, though. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna limp our way to Rivet City. If that's the way oh, it has to be. A little so robo battle. A row battle. As it were. A battle of the bots. I guess Dad chose the protection. Why is it smoking now? Is that an effect from the iBot? Whose health I can't see at all? Now I can. Who's gonna win? <laughs> it's hard to tell. This Protectron's a really bad shot. We're getting very easily distracted, Father. Shouldn't we, like, be on our way? No? 
I know Dr. Lee's waiting for, for you to return with bated breath, even though she wouldn't admit it to me. She really, she really just wants to go on a date with you. I mean, you've been, you've been available this whole time, my whole life, basically, to find, find a new, a new person to fall in love with. Maybe Dr. Lee is that person. I don't want any involvement whatsoever because I hate Dr. Lee, but you do you. You, it's your life. What, whatever amount of it you have left, um, nor, no foresha foreshadowing at all. My God, I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. Getting too old? Is that a jab at yourself? No self-deprecating humor here, father. That's not even humor, I guess. No, no self-deprecation here. If it's a joke, you get a pass. What is this raider doing? Is he trying to use cover? Well, we're not being very effective. If we were fighting multiple raiders, I would be more concerned. But we're not. We're fighting one raider who's backpedaling like a player would. Almost. There we go. He dropped his gun. Now he's going to stop and try to pick it up. And during that time, we're just going to punch him to death. Ooh, dad picked it up. You left it on the ground too long, fella. It was dad's turn. Let's continue on. There's a few more raiders along the way. More than a few. At least four. I'm going to sneak. I don't know what you're going to do, dad. <laughs> do dad. But I'm going to I'm going to go like this for a little while. Just so we avoid the raiders to our south. Um, That's the way I, to I definitely had to glance at which direction I was facing. You've got this, Liam. Hey! <laughs> you run out of ammo once again. Take that, raider. Glad he's taking all those shots by that shotgun. That's less healing items I have to use. Or I need to use? Okay, I think I should probably... Look, this lady's offering to be your girlfriend. Father. I don't know why I'm trying to be a matchmaker. For... <laughs> for James. I don't know why. I'm gonna go for that raider's noggin. You going down, girly. Sorry. My father is emotionally unavailable. He's got, he's got this obsession with Project Purity. He like... He put his own life at risk and everything. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you now because you're dead, but... Oh, now he's got a shotgun. <laughs> How many weapons is he going to have by the time he's dead? I wonder. Does he does he stay as the same instance of himself, like by the time you get to the Project Purity stuff? Yep. Because he's, he's eventually going to run out of ammo again. And then fight this man with a tire iron again. If you remain in the area, I'll just punch the robot. This notice required by law. Make it frenzy. Your maybe. cooperation is doing so little damage. I'm glad this robot's ignoring me. If only I were able to level my skills this way, like Oblivion. Hostile Am I right? I've made plenty of references to Kenshi. Oop, there I go again. But Oblivion, you know, had the skill learning system by using the skills. He had one shotgun blast in that shotgun. Okay, so we've seen Dad pick up two assault rifles and two shotguns at least. And you know what I picked up, but I shouldn't, is a fission battery. That's another one I've had to drop. Do we have food? Oh, delicious. And some rat away. There we go. Much better now that I have a tiny bit of medicine skill now. Um, glad that I got that. What was it? Life giver? Which one was it? The one that makes stim packs more effective. I'm excited for the amount of extra healing I'm going to be getting. For sure. I hope those raiders didn't respawn over in this camp here. Do they? I can't remember if they actually do. I guess we'll find out, huh? Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kato Plays 
special roulette in Fallout 3. You can catch new episodes Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks so much to my patrons on screen, including Wasteland Legends, Sven, and Rose. Hope to see you in the next one. But for now, I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.